so guys it's really simple to do we have our default cube select the cube press x then delete it shift plus a mesh then add a uv sphere right click smooth numpad one front view tap to edit mode move it up tap to object mode this will be our glass ball so let's name it glass ball just for identification now go to shading tab these are our default shading nodes let's select them give it some space select the principal bsdf press x to delete it now click on add then search for glossy bsdf then transparent bsdf glass bsdf now search for mix shader another mix shader and the last one light path now connect glossy bsdf to the mix shader then the transparent now connect the mix shader output to another mix shader then the glass bsdf to mix shader now go to light path then connect ray length to the first mix shader fact and the mix shader to the material output surface select the object go to material tab again scroll down to the setting change blend mode from opaque to alpha blend then uncheck show back face then check screen space refraction let's change the value around 0.3 then go to render properties then check the bloom and the screen space refraction then click on this little arrow then check the refraction let's go to render preview there is nothing here let's set up our world click on this drop down then select the world then go to edit preference click on add on then node triangular n o d e node then check this node triangular and click on this button then save preference now select the background then click ctrl t now click on this open then go to the directory where you installed your blender mine is on c program file blender foundation blender 3.0 3.0 data files studio lights world let's select the night then click on open image so as you can see we have our perfect glass ball let's add our cloud so for that shift plus a mesh let's add another uv sphere tap to edit mode numpad one front view place it at same position as our glass ball tap to object mode let's name it cloud then go to material tab then click on this plus icon then new to add a new material let's name it cloud so again default nodes let's move it here select the principal bsdf press x to delete it now click on add then search for emission then color ramp then noise texture and as we have our node triangular add-on on we can just click on this noise texture and ctrl plus t change from generated to object noise texture color output will be connected to color ramp fact and the color ramp color will be connected to emission color and the emission output will be connected to material output volume so the full area become foggy click on the black slider then bring it up to reduce the fog then go to noise texture change from 3d to 4d so that we can animate with w value now change the scale now select the cloud then go to object set origin origin to geometry press s to scale scale it down until the cloud is inside the glass ball seems like okay then go to emission change it to higher value we still have some cloud parts outside our glass ball let's go to color ramp and change the black color head seems like okay press s to scale let's render and see what we have so far this system works on both ev and cycle let's change to cycle after changing into cycle as you can see we have some problem here to fix this problem go to glass ball go to glass bsdf change the value like 1.5 
let's change it to 1.6 1.6 like okay so this is what we have so far if you want to change the color of glass it's really simple go to glass bsdf and change the color here see it's really simple so how can we animate it for that go to animation tab render preview go to left side click on this icon shader editor press on n to collapse this side select the cloud from here select object go to the mapping node let's go to render properties let's change it to 32 so that we can live preview this is our timeline go to the first frame go to mapping rotation area right click insert keyframe if you cannot able to see the keyframe click on this icon these are our keyframes let's go to the last keyframe left click on X then drag down 180 right click insert keyframe if you have problem with the last instruction you can just click on each of them and change it manually one by one now select all of them right click interpolation linear interpolation now let's play let's give it more variation for that go to the first frame go to the noise texture go to W field right click insert keyframe then go to the last frame change it to like 0.5 right click insert keyframe same select both of them right click interpolation linear now if you want to animate the color of the cloud it's really simple to go to first frame so now the color is white click on the white color head go to this white bar then right click insert keyframe let's go to frame 30 click on this box let's change it to this right click insert keyframe 60 so guys let's see what we have let's render one frame so it's so it seems like okay so guys we have our animated magic ball it works for both cycle and EV for EV you just need to adjust the noise texture setting if the cloud goes out of the glass box you can just scale it down so that it fit inside the box after you are done with everything select the cloud then hold control and click on the glass ball then control plus P object keep transform so that when we move our crystal ball our cloud moves with it so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial